This recording is the second in a series on calculating probabilities in a Poisson distribution using statistical tables. Recall that for a Poisson distribution, events occur at random, but with a constant average lambda per some unit. So lambda is the parameter when we're looking at a Poisson distribution. We saw previously x is defined as the number of events that occur per unit, and while we could calculate probabilities in the Poisson distribution by hand, it is often more convenient and time-saving to use tables. So once we've decided it's a Poisson distribution, we then need to determine whether it's a PDF or a CDF and choose the appropriate parameter, lambda, in the case of the Poisson distribution. So let's have a look at our example. Now in this case, we're told that a certain type of aluminium screen is two metres wide, and it has on average one floor in a 100 metre roll. Find the probability that a 50 metre roll has no floors. So this is a Poisson distribution, since we're given an average per some unit. And here we're wanting the probability a 50 metre roll has no floors, suggesting that here we're looking at the probability of x equals zero. So what is our parameter lambda here? It would be tempting to just say, OK, we're told on average there's one floor in a 100 metre roll, therefore lambda equals one. But that is actually not the case, because our probability is in relation to a 50 metre roll, which is only half the size of a 100 metre roll. Therefore, if on average there is one floor per 100 metre roll on average, we would expect only one half of that, or 0.5 floors on average per 50 metre roll. So this is very important, that when we're looking at the Poisson distribution, we must always start by checking that the rate is in the correct units. So here, lambda is equal to 0 0.5. Once we've established that, this is now then relatively straightforward. Lambda equals 0.5 is up here. X equals 0, since we're looking at the likelihood of 0 floors. It's a PDF, as shown here, since we're wanting the probability of exactly 0 floors rather than a range of values. And we can then see, looking at the intersections in our table, that the probability is just 0 0.6065 in this case. So let's stay with the aluminium screen, two metres wide, which on average has one floor in a 100 metre roll. Suppose this time we want to find the probability that a 100 metre roll has between one and four floors inclusive. So this time the units do match up. So therefore, in fact, the rate lambda will just be one floor per 100 metres, since that's what we've got in both these cases here. But the reason I'm looking at this example is here we want the probability of between one and four floors in a roll. That is the probability that one is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to four. Is this a PDF or a CDF? Well here, because we're looking at the likelihood of x taking a value in a certain range, rather than just a particular individual value, this will be a CDF problem. But what does CDF actually tell us? It always tells us the probability that x is less than or equal to a particular value. So certainly we could work out just the probability of less than or equal to four floors in a 100 metre roll, but we want between one and four floors. So let's have a think about what we get when we're looking at less than or equal to four floors. Less than or equal to four floors would be any of these possibilities, wouldn't it? Zero, one, two, three, four. But we're only interested in between one and four. That is, we do not want zero. So we could still stay with our CDF table, but subtract off the unwanted probability of x equals zero, which can also be thought of as x less than or equal to zero. So that will then allow us to work out the required probability. So I've just rewritten that here below the table for convenience. So in both cases, we're looking at lambda equals one, 
but the probability of x less than or equal to 4 in our CDF table is 0.9963. We're subtracting off that the probability of x less than or equal to 0, which is just the probability of x is 0, since this can't take negative values. So subtracting 0.3679, giving us a probability of 0.6284 of having between 1 and 4 flaws inclusive in a roll. So at this stage, it's worth looking at a more general result. More generally, if we wanted the probability of x being between a and b inclusive, it will always be reading off the value probability x less than or equal to b minus the probability x is less than a. But because with our Poisson distribution, x always takes integer or whole number values, that becomes probability x less than or equal to b minus probability x less than or equal to a minus 1. So that's how we can work out this type of problem where you're wanting the probability of the number of events being in a certain range of values.